All righty, Steel Nation. Good morning, Steel Nation. We have breaking news, and I am happily, happily, happily to announce at 5 a.m. Uh, Australian time that there is some breaking news. And according to a few sources, this has to be true, right? Field Yatesy, uh, retweeted by Christopher Carter with alert signs. Breaking news. The Bears are trading for Steelers receiver Chase Claypool per source. Thank you. Thank you. Chase Claypool is by far one of the worst receivers I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not just saying that to, to be funny. I'm dead set saying right now. Chase Claypool, on the way to Chicago, another report came in. He fell over. Revi- re- uh, <laughs> he fell over arriving to Chicago. This guy is not a stealer. This guy, Chase Claypool, I'm happily to, to say, see you, mate, catch you later. He's more invested in TikTok. He's more invested in himself. He's not a true Pittsburgh stealer, right? He checks out on routes. He too busy, he's too busy fighting with Minka. He's too busy fighting with guys like last year, doing the first down points, fighting with Trey Turner. He's all about himself, 110%. And this is one of the best Pittsburgh Steelers moves I've seen in a while. Getting rid of Chase is fantastic, right? Now, some people might say he's a good receiver. Why would you do that? We need to get rid of De- uh, Deontay Johnson. We don't need to do that, okay? Deontay isn't the best receiver anyway, as also. He is Deontay Dropson. He's, he's not, he needs to play a lot better. But the Steelers are paying him a lot of money. But with Chase Claypool, there was no future for him with the Steelers. Absolutely no future. That they weren't going to secure him to lock him down for a big contract. Chase Claypool in the offseason said he wanted to be top three receiver, right? He's just not going to fit here with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm happily to announce that is happening. Now, what did we receive back? Uh, we received, according to Adam Shefty, the Bears traded a second round pick to the Steelers for, for receiver Chase Claypool. So we get basically a second back. Uh, we went and got him in the second a few years ago. Now we're shipping him away for it for a second. Um, I'm happy with this, man. Let me know in the comments below. Are you happy with the Chase Claypool trade? See you later. Now, who do we have left? We have George Pickens. We have Deontay Johnson. We have Steven Sims, which is I'm high on him. I really am high on him. Once he comes back from his injury and stuff like that, gets back into to, you know, he played last week, but once he's back into the into the role of this team, I can see him being a third or fourth. Now also. Why didn't we activate CA3? But he's got an injury too. You got Miles Boykin. They're probably going to use Osheski more, which also means they're probably going to use um, Muth and Connor Haywood more too. I could see this team getting around those players. Chase Claypool wasn't the number one threat uh, for this team. There's no way, no how, that he was the number one threat. He had one TD. He had a big breakout year. Ever since then, this man in Pittsburgh, in my opinion, has been more about himself than he has been about the team. So breaking news, you heard it here. I'll break it down. I might break this down tomorrow or the next day or later on. But breaking news, Chase Claypool was being traded to the Bears for a second round pick. And I'm happy to announce that on Steeler Nation Australia. If you enjoy my content, hit that sub, hit that like. Goodbye, Chase Claypool, mate. Go and do your TikTok somewhere else. I can't handle you. I think you're an average receiver at best. And you're no longer a Pittsburgh Steelers. So see you, mate. Catch ya.